All right, I'm gonna be doing my first batch of salsa that I'm gonna end up canning. Uh, these have come straight out of uh, our garden from Stewart Farms. And as you can see, we've got all kinds of different types of tomatoes here. So the first step is gonna be to uh, take these, wash them off real good, uh, uh, cut them up in terms of uh, just uh, cutting off the tops and also the bottoms and then uh, we'll go to the next step in just a few moments. Making sure that we cut out all of the bad stuff here. And there's our first one. All right, so tomatoes have all been washed and I've cut them all up, uh, cored them. And now what I need to do is boil them for three minutes. So I'm gonna bring my pot here to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then uh, I will add the tomatoes, leave them in there for about three minutes and then pull them out and then I'll uh, pull the skins off. So that's gonna be my next step. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up four Vidalia onions. So I'm using a sweet onion so it kind of sweetens up the salsa a little bit because I am gonna add some peppers here in just a few moments and I'll show you how I'll cut those up as well. But I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna eventually put them in a processor and uh, cut them up really, really fine. I don't wanna leave them real chunky. Now some folks do like it chunky, but uh, for this sauce, we're, we're not gonna make it chunky. All right, so I've already finished up the onions. I'm now cutting up some peppers to go into my salsa. And notice I've got a sweet Italian red, I've got a cayenne pepper, and then I've got some jalapenos uh, that um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and leave the seeds in. Some folks uh, take all the seeds out. I think I'm gonna leave them in there because I, I definitely want a little heat to mine. So anyway, I'm gonna cut these up and get them all taken care of, and, uh, and then I'm gonna get back to the tomatoes here in just a moment. All right, these have been on the stove boiling and the whole idea behind boiling them is so that you can get it, the skin to peel off the tomato rather easily. And as you can see, it's peeling, but maybe not so easily. So I'm gonna keep on working on this. I'm gonna try and get all these done as soon as possible. And then after that, we're gonna process them and then we're gonna be ready to put them in a pot and mix all of our ingredients together and start getting ready for some salsa. All right. All right, so after I've gotten finished uh, peeling all the uh, tomatoes, taking all the skins off, now what I've done is I've taken all the tomatoes and I've put them into my blender and blended it up real good. And so this is just, just tomatoes right now. So I'm getting ready to add some onions and the pe peppers that I've already chopped up and getting ready to add that. And then I'm gonna add, uh, a packet of seasoning for salsa, and I'll show that in just a moment. All right, so this is everything that's in the pot. We've got it starting to simmer. We just added uh, a cup of uh, apple cider vinegar. We're about to add the medium salsa, Mrs. Wages medium salsa packet, uh, but we've got tomatoes, onions, jalapeno peppers, a cayenne pepper, an Italian sweet pepper, and then we're gonna let this come to a boil and let it go for 10 minutes and then it'll be ready for some canning. All right, we got it to a boil. 
supposed to let it go for about 10 minutes. Forgot that we were supposed to add cilantro, and so I got that cut up and added to it. So everything's in there, it's good to go. Done some tasting, and let me just go ahead and say that uh, I did add a half a cup of sugar to it, even though it was not in the recipe that was that was shared with me. So uh, I just kind of like to have a little sweet with my hot. So anyway, almost done folks. All right, so now we are in the canning process. And you'll find that it takes about seven and a half scoops with this particular scooper that we're using. what we got so far. Alright, so this is the end result. Ended up with five quarts. So if there are lessons to learn, I would say use bigger tomatoes. Even though we used uh, all tomatoes grown at Stewart Farms, uh, we didn't have to pay for any of those. Those came straight out of our garden. And about the only thing that we had to purchase was cilantro, apple cider vinegar, and let's see here, some onions, even though I did uh, I did use some onions out of our garden, but the jalapeno peppers were bought from the Delano Market, and also, I believe that's it. So, very minimal expense, got five quarts of uh, salsa, and yes, it does taste good, got a little heat to it, but it's also got a little bit of sweetness to it. So anyway, that's our final product right there. Will I do it again? You bet I will.